how to play the game! That is an epic fucking intro, dude. And I have to warn everyone, warning, what you may see right now is going to be absolutely disgusting. Sound good? Sounds good to me. Okay, so guys, hey, listen, any contributions tonight are greatly appreciated. This, literally, this one stream a week that I'm doing on the channel is making the channel viable with all the work that's going, going into it, you know, reviving those old playthroughs, upscaling them, doing the flicker reduction, the noise fixing, putting them into longer parts, thumbnail, tiling, it's a lot of work. And I knew it wasn't going to be worth the work. So I'm happy that these streams every week are so go doing so well that it's essentially making it viable. So tonight, if you support the stream in any way, that is greatly, greatly appreciated. It keeps this channel going, all right? In 2017, the bottom fell out on YouTube. They lost most of their major advertisers and it became completely impossible for someone like me to still make a living doing YouTube full time. So I said, I gotta do something different and drastic. I changed myself. I evolved. I became a full-time beggar. Okay, um, our first tip of the night. I just received a very generous $50 tip from Harry Butthole. I've never run into this thing before. What is it, a money creature? Yeah, look. It's a money creature. It just throws money around. <laughs> what the hell was that? 1,000 viewers... I get the feeling then there's a there's some botting going on, and that's not me. I don't I don't care about views or how many people are on the stream. So if it's botting going on, I have nothing to do with it. Uh, but welcome, who, uh, anyone who's a newcomer tonight. Welcome. Uh, Sarah's wondering, does Cat cringe at my old commentary? Yes, she doesn't. She just like me. She's like, what do you do? You know, what are you gonna do? It was a different time. It was a different era. I was I was definitely appealing to a younger, immature audience. You know, it is what it is. Bye. <laughs> right. And, but by the way, guys, I'll just say this. Yes, obviously, someone is manipulating YouTube tonight on the stream. I'm literally not even looking at view count or anything. I have nothing to do with it. I don't want anything to do with it. As you can see in chat, it's the chat is moving realistically for a, a, a stream that probably has like 300 people in it, which is probably what we really have. I have nothing to do with it. I can't fix that. So just ignore it. All right. Um, I have no, no control over it, but it's hilarious because you can purposefully see certain trolls coming in and talking about it in chat to try to basically derail the stream. Just ignore them and enjoy the stream with me and we'll have a good time tonight. All right. For the ribs. Certainly not the first time this has happened, not the last time. These idiots do dumb stuff to try to derail my streams. Just ignore it and let's have a good time. $30, I turn on the camera. Maybe $50, I'll blow you a kiss. Also, what's funny is people are saying, is that a Chris Chan sweater? I have no idea. I don't know what you're talking about. It's a Nautica sweater. Nautica is a very good designer brand, so if he ever wore a Nautica sweater, I guess, but this is, you know, I don't know who the fuck Chris Chan was when I wore the sweater in 2010. This is what I wore to work. Seeing them. Um. Here. Don't put your pants back on. You won't be needing those, buddy. Thanks for staying. <laughs> I feel again. a lot better now. Okay. I better get going then. Hey, do you have dreams about getting gangbanged by four dudes in ski masks and then getting your throat slit in the bathroom? What the hell? Just ask it. Uh, again, okay. you have to realize something. My audience back then was primarily teenagers. Like, when you look at your YouTube analytics or whatever, it was all teens. So that's, I mean, I was, what, like, in 2010, I was, uh, like, 27 years old. But I was still doing this kind of commentary because I was trying to appeal to that younger audience who liked that immature style, right? Now, my, my audience, no exaggeration, how many of you right now watching are a teenager, right? Probably not many, right? Probably very few. Most of my, my audience is in their 20s, 30s, or 40s now. Their older audience wants to watch a more throwback YouTuber. So... Now my commentary is much more mature. I don't do this kind of stuff anymore, but you know, you gotta, you gotta cringe at this stuff. It happened. It's public. <laughs> I'm a mature adult with a business degree. Oh, you said I could contact you if I remembered anything. The hooker. She wants some. Can I come in? Hubba hubba. Sure. <laughs> oh my sure. god. What you the remember fuck? how to give a really kicking blowjob? Oh so. my god. Of course I have to say that. Of course I do. Ugh. Let me take your coat. So embarrassing. Uh oh, Shelby's gonna get laid. Oh my God! I'm gonna say this the whole scene. I bet yes, the whole scene. I'm not gonna shut up about it. Please. And now for the roofie. The what? 
So Ruby, he called. <laughs> Come on. Oh my God, man. Come on. Now for the roofie. He's, um, it's a Bill Cosby situation right now. Oh my God, man. The, the UP, Bill, Phil Cosby hot take. Phil Cosby? You call me Phil Cosby. <laughs> Kobe Bryant is a stand, upstanding gentleman. And so is Bill Cosby. <laughs> what the fuck? Bill Cosby, he's the perfect gen comedian. One day I hope to grow up to be just like him. He called, calls me on the phone to get some love advice. He said, just put two pills in the drink. Nice. <laughs> oh, no. Uh. Oh, my God. He's drinking wheelchair donations. Madame. Thanks. How many STDs do you have, just for the record? Oh, my God. <laughs> See, I never shut up. You're really something special, Lord. I'll give you that. Now take your pants off. I'm oh my a god. A it's like exhausting, right? It's exhausting. I, okay, one or two jokes, fine. This is like 12 in a row, and it's still going. Like, I won't shut up, right? Like, now I'm actually finding myself to be obnoxious. But again, this is 14 years later, you know? This is a third of my life later. I find myself 14 years ago very obnoxious. But it's just like, here, and here's the thing too, like, you know, back then, to be like a PC kind of commentator was not necessarily when you get to popularity, but I think what ended up happening was a lot of commentators started off risque and then went PC while they were still big. And by doing that, now they became kind of approved by game publishers and stuff like that. Then they started getting games early, they started getting invited to press events, they started getting sponsorships. Me, like, I didn't change my style for a very long time. Like, I kept commentating like this for another seven years. And then I changed when it was already so played out, you see? So, that's kind of crazy. Like, man, imagine if you're, you're Quantic Dream, and you're like, wow, one of the biggest playthroughs on YouTube of our game, here it is, you start watching it, and you hear me make those jokes for like 10 minutes straight, it's like, oh, God, you know, I mean, I don't want anything to do with this guy, and now I kind of get it. I do, like, I kind of get it, like, what the hell? To find out who killed her son. I instantly eat some red meat and my foot explodes like a bomb. Yes, my foot will swell up and I'll be in excruciating pain. Gout outbreak. Guys, if you could, tonight, if you could support the stream in some way, I would really appreciate it. Typically, these streams have done quite well for support. Tonight, not so much, I guess. Um, but I appreciate everyone who is here and, and hanging out and supporting the stream in some way. Thank you for that. Please consider it. Maybe a tip, a super chat, or a membership, all right? All right, let's continue. If me saying this is begging, then I guess I'm a beggar. And you know what? I think I'd rather be a beggar than a Keemstar. By the way, I just received a very generous tip. Wow, thank you guys. I just received a $51 tip from Jared Jackson. So now we can mind control all these creatures and we can do all kinds of stuff. Cody Carl did a super chat. He says, would you go through all these trials to save Jasper Kitty? Um, I'd probably go through some trials. I don't know if I would go through all of these trials. It would depend on the situation. But I mean, if a in, in truth, if a crazy psycho killer kidnaps a family member or a loved one and is going to get, have you go through these trials, likely they're not looking to have a winner right at the end, right? It's not like Saw where you can actually survive. It's probably like, it's just a way to fuck with you. So why give the killer that satisfaction of having you go through the trials just to die at the end, right? That's probably what they want. Why give them what they want, right? So more heavy rain next week, same time, same place. In the meantime, I thank you all for hanging out with me here tonight and those still watching on demand, thank you. Remember, if you become a member of this channel, you get access to this stream immediately. You don't have to wait all week. If not, I'm going to upload this in parts over the course of the week. So I hope that you'll check those out too, all right? Everyone, thank you so very much. Until next time, peace out. My favorite part, mobile games. <laughs> let's bust out our mobile phones and let's get ready to play mobile games. There's still this back here. And it's still in the back of my neck, the back of my head, the back of my mind. And it's always telling me it's WWE Champions time. I love it. I love it. Is, is a mobile game addict. Phil has indoctrinated children who send him money. Blatantly milking for money. It's a money pit. It's gone. Just gone like that. 
in an instant, fucking gone. I just care about money. That I just can't help it. I eBay. Contributions are mandatory, but I need your help. I am appealing directly to you. No decency, no respect, no common sense, no fucking maturity. It's the guy who just doesn't get reality.